What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We are at Steve's. He's over here welding. Um, we're going to show you some of the stuff he's done to the car already. And uh, I can't tell you everything we're doing to the car while it's here because there's some things that got changed. Un, um, not intentionally, but things happen. So let's get with it and uh, show you what Steve's done. So if you look over here, Steve's amazing. And uh, we still got one more, or he's still got one. Don't say, there's no we. I can't weld aluminum at all. So we'll say he, he's just gotta weld this, but the intercooler is pretty much done. I mean, look at the welds on that. That's just gorgeous. So end tanks are all done. We broke them at a buddy's house. Um, he's almost done completely. We've already mounted it. We got one more mounting bracket and finish welding this bracket on and then it's a charge pipe um, as you can tell we got the whole front of the car ripped off of it and if you look in here we got mounting brackets uh, for it uh, nut certs that he put in there so it holds good we're going to build a bracket on the bottom also and we're going to redo these charge pipes and the under charge pipe going up to my main because the angle is different but uh these are going to go to three inch and then we have to do this which is probably going to be fun i don't even know where they are but they over there so guys i told you we're building turbo funnels um these are the ones i bought i don't really like these because they're plastic um, which bugs me for no reason like there's no reason it bugs me but it just does but we're going to take out the outside headlight and funnel it straight in to each turbo so we can get cold air so we can make all the power um there's also something getting changed under the hood that's coming in tomorrow and we really can't talk about it yet and some other small changes um that i don't really want to tell y'all yet but i got this bracket from uh ict billet we are now manual steering everything's still lined up because that is a truck bracket manual steering box out of an s10 um so there's a lot going on in a very short amount of time we're trying to get this one done uh steve's got to do the co2 real quick too which shouldn't take him no time um i mean heck he did the intercooler in like a day so um because steve's got albert's fox body that's coming here next and we'll record that too because it's got a lot of changes from the twin big block y'all seen last year so it's well i think i told y'all it's going ls single turbo or no it is twin ain't it twin 7875s right yes, so he's twin 7875s now just with a lot better turbos and a lot better bottom end but we're gonna give him heck i keep telling him i'm gonna beat him it might take him spinning off the line but i'm gonna give it give it heck trying um but there's a lot done nose pieces sitting on the top we're gonna have to put that back on which sucks if anybody has ever done an ss nose piece that's really about it um we got more coming 
I'm waiting for parts to get here and we got to order a couple more parts and then this car is pretty much wrapped up. I don't think we really have a lot more. Fix the flex fuel sensor and the little dial, which we're just going to do the dial straight to key on now. So we're going to fix the dial in the car, which I think I've showed y'all. Maybe I haven't, but the dial over there is five, bring the trailer. Number five will be bring the trailer. I told Steve we can do it. Um, and we're probably going to need a bottom end after LS Fest, but we're going to give it heck trying. You know, we say that, but I watched Squirrel Tuned or whatever, and uh, he made 1300 on a stock bottom end. You've got 1500 horsepower worth of air. I'm not. We got all the air. We are capable of 1500 if the bottom end will hold it and the turbos will put it out. You do it one time. We'll, one. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Once is better. Hey, even if it's once on the dyno, I'm happy with that. So. But guys, we got more coming. We're gonna dyno the car um, once it's done and we'll go from there. So guys, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We got more videos coming. Um, I've been kind of keeping you on the dark on some things for a reason that kind of happened out of nowhere, uh, unexpected, but some things have to be changed to get the power range that we want after talking to, what was his name? James Short uh, from Short Tuning. He uh, works at BTR and he kind of, Kind of led me in a direction uh, we'll still need to change the camshaft eventually but for right now that's not going to happen we're going to change the other things first because it's more important um, but guys that's it like subscribe we got more coming and uh hopefully we can hit that thousand horsepower range and everything stays intact so until next time guys we'll see you later